Right guys, back for another Dokkan battle video. And today we'll be showing off a 55% on my 55% level 10 links LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. This is a follow-up, of course, to my regular 55% showcase video. Now before we get into the unit overview as well as the team composition, or team compositions, because there are three different teams uh, that I'll be using this Gogeta on, uh, just feel feel free to fast forward to whatever part of the video using the timestamps which can be found in the description or the pinned comment and not, I know not everyone will actually want to listen to me blabber on about the unit overview so uh, bear that in mind. So getting on to the leader skill it's fused fighters or GT heroes 3 key and 170 tour stats and then of course he also gives an extra HP attack and defense 30% to those characters who belong to the Kamehameha category so the way this, the way this works again is that if you belong to the Kamehameha category and then you belong to one of the pre-existing uh, categories, so that's Fuse Fighters or GT Heroes, you essentially are sitting at 200% attack and defense from a leader skill, which is pretty impressive. Taking a look at his super attack effects, the 12 key, or their super attack effects, the 12 key, stacking attack and defense, colossal damage, and then the 18 key, stacking attack and defense, mega colossal damage to the enemy, so bear that in mind. The passive skill, so they are a, I say they are the, but yeah, they are the first unit to introduce an, in, an intro or entry animation, uh, which is pretty unique. They also guard all attacks within the same turn from the start of turn, so that's a one turn guard, pretty much on their first appearance. They then gain attack and defense 77% and one key per type keys they obtain for seven turns from the start of turn. They then have attack and defense 120% and an additional one key per type keys they obtained. They then get a 7% chance of performing a crit per rainbow keys they obtained. And then they launch an additional super attack when key is 20 or more and their attacks are type effective when key is 24 or more. They also have an active skill, Fusion. It can be activated starting from the fourth turn and then they transform into Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I have a level five skill orb, so that gives them 500 attack. As for links, they have Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Shocking Speed, GT, Saiyan, Raw, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power, and then categories. They are on, I believe, 13. Fusion, Shadow Dragon Saga, Pure Saiyans, Joint Forces, Kamehameha, Final Trump Card, Giant Air Power, GT Heroes, Time Limit, Accelerated Battle, Battle of Fate, Beyond 2%, and then Fused Fighter. So that is, of course, the Goku and Vegeta aspect of the kit. Moving on to the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, by the way, that's his art. Looks pretty sick. Um, super attack effects actually do change. Um, the 12 key now becomes Colossal Damage and greatly raises attack and defense to one turn, so that's a 50% attack and defensive raise. And then the 18 key is massively raises attack and defense to one turn, that's a 100% attack raise. Uh, med Colossal Damage, and then he nullifies enemy's action for one turn. Whilst it states for one turn, what I've seen from so many people in testing the unit myself, it actually only nullifies the first attack after Gogeta is supposed to be attacked, so bear that in mind. Passive skill actually changes as well. So he now gains attack and defense 177% at the start of turn. Gogeta gets an additional two key per type keys to be obtained. He then gets a 7% damage reduction and a chance to perform a crit by 7% per rainbow key sphere obtained. He gets guaranteed attacks effective against all types. He then has a 30% chance of performing a crit. He has a 50% chance of launching an additional super attack. And then he gets a 50% chance of nullifying enemy super attack and countering with tremendous power. So Gogeta is pretty bonkers crazy. He also has an active skill. So this is a unit with two active skills. The Ultra Big Bang Kamehameha. Uh, so pretty much it's an ultimate damage attack it's an active skill attack all attacks for that one turn become a crit and the condition is that it can be activated when hp is 50 percent or less or when facing only one enemy whose hp is 50 percent or less so that's pretty easy as there are two con different conditions to follow linksa actually remains the same which is something i'm glad because uh, what it means is that in an event which allows you to run a double uh, gogeta lead you can then just transform with one link them next to each other and one stacking attack and defense and one's shooting off a bajillion million attack stats with like 500k plus defense so that's pretty good and of course categories remain the same so the three different teams or three different stages that we're using this gogeta with or gogeta on um is joint forces super battle road this is the latest regular category super battle road stage for this unit so i will be taking them into that stage under a double lr blue kai and goku and evolution blue vegeta lead so that's 150 percent towards stats i will be linking them up with str vegeto now unfortunately they only share three links but again i want to try and see super saiyan 4 gogeta in as many different situations as possible and to be frank i would argue that gogeta's link set isn't that catering if you don't have a gt type unit right because Unfortunately, they decided to give him shocking speed or decided to give this unit shocking speed over PFB, which does hurt, I think. 
uh, if you're not running a GT team setup, but again, that's, uh, that remains to be seen. The next team is a Fusion Warrior team, so we'll be using Gogeta under his own leader skill, and we'll be taking him into Fusion Sada Extreme Super Battle Road. Now, in terms of this team, I want to link uh, Gogeta up with the Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have it into Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Um, so, I, whilst that guy is probably your best linking partner, um, there's not much I can do about that, unfortunately. I don't really have him. Uh, I don't know if this team's going to work because, of course, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, the tech one, does not have any starter turn defense. He only has a greatly raised defense of one turn as a super attack effect. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, and then the final stage we'll be taking them into is, G is the GT Legendary Goku event. Again, under the wrong leader skill. My plan with this team or this setup is to have the. Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta next to the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku. They share six links, and then after a while, I will transform my Gogeta into, or I say my Goku and Vegeta into Gogeta, and then link that up with the friend uh, Goku and Vegeta for maximum linkage, right? Uh, so those are the three teams. Um, that's pretty much it. Yeah, let's just get into the showcase. <laughs> Okay guys, so there is the intro animation for the Goku and Vegeta. Now we did actually completely decimate Roshi in the first turn, and then we stunned DKP as well. So we will only, we will only have to take an attack from Kid Goku, which is unfortunate because it is type advantage. And of course, as I mentioned in the breakdown, the Goku and Vegeta do have guard on their first turn. So they're sitting at 117k defense. Uh, let's try to take out Kid Goku, that is max key. With STR Vegito, the links that they share is or are Shocking Speed, Fierce Battle, and then Legendary Power. So that's two key, 35% attack, and then 5% defense. Uh, as for Vegito, uh, I suppose we'll give him these STR orbs on the right, and then I'll give the Blue Door unit the orbs on the left. So I don't presume this will be too challenging for them because they have type, advan type advantage as well as the guard. Okay, wow, they're still taking 21k, although I suppose with their defense only being 117k. That is the reason why. So this means, or I say this means, but since they are at 24 key, their attacks are type effective, doesn't really matter, because they have type advantage anyway. Um, and then they, of course, perform the double super because uh, they get the double super at 20 key. So their defense was 117k, 117 times 1.4. At the end of this super attack, they would have been, or at the end of those super attacks, they would have been at 163k defense, which is pretty good. They took 120 from the super, not bad. And... Yeah, at this point we'll move on to the next rotation, which should probably be the second phase of this Subaru stage. Okay, so we have returned with the second phase of Joint Forces Category Subaru Road. Um, so this is not looking too great. They're, again, they're only at 117k defense. We saw that they took 21k with type advantage before they super attacked. This is now two attacks of type disadvantage, so this is going to be very interesting. I'm going to pop a Sensu Bean real quick, and I think we target Vegeta just to avoid him super attacking the STR Vegito in slot 2 because I think they have enough firepower to take him out. We'll have STR Vegito attack Vegeta as well. That's good. That's max key. And then I'll have Gotenks attack uh, Trunks to try and stun him before I say before but in case he super attacks in slot 3 there. So again 117k defense. Attacks are type effective. Defense after they super attack should be um, let's see 163k Actually, that's not that bad. They only took 160 from a super attack, and I think they took around 27k from the normal. After they would have super attacked, they would have been good. Um, so, hopefully we can take down Vegeta here. Okay, never mind. We're, okay, I suppose this is the difference of a double 150 leader skill and then a double 200% leader skill. For sure, uh, if they were rocking their own team, or if they are on their own leader skill, they would have demolished that Vegeta. Okay, so they're still only, they're taking about 5,000 damage. It's not exactly double digits took 134 which isn't that great but again it's fine it's a double 150 leader skill so if we take that into consideration it's pretty good i'm hoping that sdr vegeto here does double super otherwise we could be in trouble uh okay i need a stun from gotenks then otherwise we are definitely in trouble so uh gotenks don't let me down please okay there's the stun we we <laughs> we clutched it out we looked it out and uh, we'll move on to the next rotation okay guys we are back I'm actually going to put the Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta in slot 2 here because they do pick up Super Saiyan from the floating blue duo unit, so that's how we're going to go with it. Uh, another thing to point out is that Trunks' attack was lowered in the previous turn by the tech uh, EZA Master Roshi NTN. 
So STR Vegito can have these orbs. I presume that even if he was to take a super attack there uh, in slot one, STR Vegito with his 30% damage reduction, he wouldn't take 272k damage. But uh, let's see. We'll give these physical orbs to the Goku and Vegeta. Again, defense is looking pretty well as well. 164k. I think I said around 163, 164. Again, I'm not sure how Dokkan uh, prioritizes their rounding up or rounding down in terms of the decimals. So that's why it's a bit off. Um, Man, I, I do wish I could fill my bottom right do path with STR Vegito, but I am thinking of doing a 200% leader skill showcase, so uh, we'll have a look at that in the future. Uh, that's that's pretty good. Double super attack is always nice. Um, let's see what kind of damage they output. 4.7, it's type effective, so um, you know, you're looking at 4.7 plus a double super, which I presume will be 2.5, maybe, maybe 2.2. No, 3 million, my apologies. So that's 7 million, 7.7 .7 actually to be precise. And then once we factor in the type effective multiplier, what you're actually looking at is an attack start of 11 million, which is pretty good, right? Considering they took 1,000 damage. Um, oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Uh, 500k. Okay, well, here's the thing, guys. I'm going to move on to the next stage. Uh, I think we've seen enough of the Goku and Vegeta. Honestly, I got unlucky with the orbs. Um, but if we had super attacked with the blue Goku and Vegeta unit, we would have been fine. Uh, but let's not to worry. I think we've seen them function on a 150 leaders got and i'm actually pretty impressed with them at 55 percent so let's move on to fusion extreme super battle road <laughs> okay guys so we've made our way to fusion extreme Super Battle Road. Actually, that works out perfectly. There are no attacks in slot 2, so we can afford to put the Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta in slot 1. So, with this uh, linking partner, or with Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, we have 5 links active. Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Shocking Speed, GT, and Fierce Battle. Of course, Kamehameha will activate once you grab the Key Spheres. So, that's a total of 4 key, 55% attack, and then 15% defense. So, looking pretty good in terms of the buffs from links. They are also sitting at 160k defense. And we have a comparison here because the friend, I believe, is two dupes, 79% in the dupe system. He is, okay. So this, is, this will be a good comparison. Now, unfortunately, it does not seem as if we'll grab uh, 20 key to get that additional super attack, but it's fine. Um, we will target you. Yes, we'll target you. Let's just try and remove you from the game. Uh, we'll have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta take the tech orbs. Another thing to point out is that tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta does buff. I say buff, but debuff extreme class enemies i believe by 20 percent attack and defense so uh, bear that in mind as well let's grab these orbs so defense is 160k since we will only be grabbing one super attack unless of course we get lucky through the hidden potential system their defense will be 192k after super attack and so 4.94 is a pretty good attack stat and i believe they took 27k from that super attack so this is uh, a very e i mean honestly this stage is easier than the super class extreme super battle stage so if you want to look at that you can check you can check that out in the 55 percent video but i did just want to jump into this to uh show some players how they perform in some of these older extreme super battle stages because i mean this stage is still very difficult just because the fusion saga or say fusion saga just because the fusion team in general uh is very light on options so it's nice to see how some of these newer units dominate uh this type of event so um pretty good pretty good showing i think first turn from them we also have the support from gotenks and physical warriors which we should see um the next time we see um super saiyan 4 gogeta so we shall move on to the next turn okay so we're back on turn three everything stays the same with this rotation barring the fact that the agl super saiyan gotenks it does give the time limit category units an extra three key and 40 percent attack and defense which applies to our Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta so they're sitting at 290k defense which is pretty good we'll give the we'll give them the AGL orbs we'll give Gogeta the int orb and then for the healing we'll give Gotenks the AGL orbs but I think Goku and Vegeta will finish off this guy himself yeah 6.3 pretty impressive right that's super battle road 55% type effective a guaranteed additional super attack coming I don't know if he'll survive this wow he barely survived with like a bit of health left so that was 10 million uh, but it's type, it's, you know, that's not factoring the type effectiveness. That's, that's essentially a 15 million attack stat with well over 300k defense. Pretty impressive, if I must say so myself. Okay, so here we are in phase two. 
of, I say, I say it's phase two, but the second phase of this Super Battle Road event. Uh, let's take down Yak on here. Um, he does have type advantage over our two physical units. I say our two, but our main physical units um, of this team. I think we'll have Gogeta attack Deborah. Again, we should be good to go because Gogeta does have type advantage and we should also grab the Weirer support. Uh, for those who don't know, the physical Weirer's here. Uh, he does actually give... 30% attack and defense support to those who belong to the Fusion or Realm of Gods category team, which is pretty impressive. And then he also has the high chance of dodging with five or more key spheres. And then he gets 70% attack and defense uh, when attacking with seven or more key spheres. So he's a really good support unit for this team. Uh, I'm, I think I'm going to actually have him attack Deborah. I think there's a good chance he can maybe even finish him off, right? Uh, so again, 160k defense. They have guaranteed guard. Um, and they will be type effective this turn. Um, as well as the double super. So they should be untouchable. I wouldn't even be surprised uh, if they are able to finish off Deborah here with the additional super. Not Deborah, sorry. Um, Barbady. Uh, is it Barbady or. Yeah, I think it's Barbady with the, with the double super here. So that's one down. Uh, by the way, these animations look really sick, right? The Dragon Fist and the, fin the Final Shine. Okay, there's the additional super, 3.7. I wonder if we can get the additional super from the hidden potential system. That would be really clutch. Uh, we definitely finish off Barbadie at that point. Okay, no, it looks okay. I was well, uh, well short within that mark. Um, they were, well, I say, I say I was, but they were well short of defeating Barbadie, but still really impressive amount of damage. Uh, again, another thing I think I forgot to point out is that since Gogeta is here, remember guys, he is debuffing extreme class enemies, attack and defense by 20%, so keep that in mind. Uh, at this point, we'll move on to the next phase, and I think we'll actually get to see Gogeta transform, which is going to be really cool. Okay, so here we have LR Super Saiyan for Gogeta. Now, uh, I do actually want to keep him in slot 2 because he will have all of his links active. Uh, but I don't know if maybe Tech Super Saiyan for Gogeta will go for an additional super attack, whatever. But I'm going to risk it. Um, so what we're going to do is we'll give Super Saiyan for Gogeta the tech orb here. Yeah, we will. We'll uh, give... The LR Super Saiyan for Gogeta, all of these physical key spheres. Again, remember guys, he has all of his links active um, at this moment. So he's sitting at 228k defense. Um, and then another thing to point out is that Pui Pui is stunned. Now in regards to how Gogeta's defense, defensive raise works, uh, I've seen a lot of confusion. Um, and maybe I'll actually explain, no, I'll explain it now, uh, just because we have time. So Gogeta raises, massively raises attack and defense on his 18 key. But because the Goku and Vegeta in the base form are stacking, it's not a true 100% uh, defensive raise. So it's not as simple as 228 times 2.0, which is actually a misconception. I had originally thought that was the case, but as I mentioned earlier, because they stack um, in the base form, that's not how you work out his defense. I believe the way to work out his defense is what you want to do is grab the Goku and Vegeta starter turn defense, which I believe was 160k. Um, you then have the 100% defensive raise from this Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, so that's 160 um, plus, I say plus, but in brackets. In fact, I'll probably just have the calculations on the right-hand side of the screen just to make this easier. But what you do is the starter turn defense from the Goku and Vegeta times or multiplied by the amount of stacks that the Goku and Vegeta did, and then you add the stacks plus the 100%, right? So what it is is... I think the Goku and Vegeta, they super attack twice, so that's 160 uh, times 2.4. And then that's the amount of defense that Gogeta will be at uh, once he has finished his super attack. So I'm just going to quickly work that out again. It will be uh, on your left, so that's going to be a lot easier for you guys where I'm having to calc it here like a, a numpty. So 160 times 2.4 is 384k, so that's what his defense should be after he super attacks. Uh, so let's just let this turn play out. I think I've done enough waffling. Imagine if Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta does, just does decide to go for a double super. I suppose this is like another big uh, strength of this Goku and Vegeta as well as the God 
duo unit, it's that because we have 200% leader skills, even if we take a lot of damage, we're sitting at so much health, like it's not really going to bother us. So 7.8 was his attack stat. Again, guys, this is super bad road. This is a 55% unit. Uh, that's 7.8. He has a 50% chance to launch an additional super attack, and that was type effective. Really, really impressive from Gogeta there. Okay, guys, so I presume this will be the final turn of this particular event. Uh, we are fast approaching the Doka mod. In fact, I will try to trigger it this turn, but I don't think it's possible. We have no tech orbs for Gogeta to collect. Uh, so my attacks will all be focused on Boo. Again, we have the support from the Super Saiyan Gotenks. 40% attack and defense as well as a 3 key. So defense is looking pretty nice. Uh, remember, guys, I do have guard as well. So uh, let's see how this turn plays out. Oh, we should have collected those AGL orbs. Okay, never mind. I, I'm busy talking, right? I, when I'm talking, I, I, I can't really multitask. So that, that, that's... That's one thing about me. Um, okay, I wonder if collectively with Gogeta SS4, can they finish off Boo here? I don't think so. Uh, maybe if like my unit additional supers from the hidden potential system or Gogeta crits and additional supers, then maybe. Okay, how much does this do? This shouldn't do too much. What, 50k? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, 2,000? Uh, boo, my boy. You have to try a bit harder than that. What was it? 3 mil from you? Okay. Gogeta. Relax. Uh, th that seems pretty good. Again, my Gogeta is level 10 links, but he's only 79% in the dupe system. Okay. Gogeta, relax. Chill, my guy. Why are you... <laughs> Why is Tech Gogeta looking so sick in this video? Anyway, um, at this point, we'll, move, we'll be moving on to the final event, which is the GT Legendary Goku event under their own leader skill. <laughs> Okay, so here we are in the GT Legendary Goku event. That was the last time in the video that the intro will be played. Next to LR Super Saiyan for Goku, of course, once they have super attacked, we'll have a total of six links active. The links being Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Saiyan Raw, GT, Fierce Battle, and then Legendary Power. What that means is that it's a total of two key, 95% attack, and then 20% defense. So uh, they get a lot of power next to Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Now, I actually don't have STR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, which is why I'm choosing to run LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku. But I think actually under this leader skill, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku's stock has just risen exponentially. If this guy's even sitting at like anywhere near 150k defense at the start of turn, boy oh boy, is he going to hit very, very hard. So... Uh, we'll give the Super Saiyan 4 duo these STR orbs here. We'll give Goku these AGL orbs and then the friend. Again, this will be a good comparison. The friend, I believe, is 79% as well. Okay, no, sorry, he's 90%. What I mean as well, I I'm thinking of the previous showcase, right? Again, I just want to show you guys that whilst I have the dupe paths unlocked, I haven't given them the, the full 79%. Uh, so we'll do this. So my intention is, I think once we get to maybe the penultimate phase, maybe even the third last phase... I will then transform with my Goku and Vegeta into Gogeta. But until then, we're just going to sit back, we're going to relax, and we're going to allow these two behemoths to stack attack and defense. And uh, go type effective if we do grab the full 24 key. Okay, guys, so we're back on turn two. You guys know the drill. Uh, we'll just give Goku and Vegeta the super... I say the super attacks, but we'll give them the key spheres to super attack. Uh, we will also grab the support from the Weirus here. Again, it's 30% attack and defensive support, but I can't really show you the defensive stat because it will activate as the turn is being played out. So 231k, sorry, 235k is that defensive stat at the start of turn. Now the support will kick in. Uh, I'm presuming like 7 mil attack stat. 7.5. Okay, uh, we'll move on to the next time we see SS4 Goku and Vegeta. Okay, so we're back on turn six. In regards to B-Pan's active, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it until we actually get Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta out. So uh, that is why we'll hold on to that. 268k defense and uh, of course LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku is still building up his defense every single turn, right? I believe it will max out the next appearance. So it does seem as if he'll be sitting around 140k defense, which is pretty good. 7.5 from these guys. Again, this type of thing. It's crazy how much damage. It's ludicrous how much damage these guys are able to output at 55%, uh, 4.8, wow, so that's, what's that, 7.5 plus 4.8, um, that is an attack stat of 12.3, 
that's without factoring that it's type effective. So when it's type effective, it's actually 18.45 million. Oh my God. And again, at this point, they're well over 300k defense. So mightily impressive from the duo unit. Okay, so we have returned on turn eight. Again, we'll just keep on going forward. Now, the reason why I put the uh, Super Saiyan for Goku and Vegeta in slot two is because I was trying, uh, I was trying to get to their, uh, of course, 20 key, but... I don't really think I selected the orbs right. It doesn't really matter. Um, we'll just go ahead with this. Of course, because they share shocking speed with the STR Vegeta floating unit right here, that's why they have all links active. Uh, 349k defense. Is that good enough? Does that look good? Um, I, I I, don't even think that this Super Saiyan 3 Great Ape Goku could even damage them, right? After they've super attacked, they're going to be at, uh, again, well over 450k defense. Maybe even actually just around that defensive level. Um, so let's see. Okay, that, that would, I mean, it would have been interesting if I'd put them in slot 1 to see how much damage they would have taken. Uh, but we haven't actually transformed yet with STR Vegito. Honestly, the whole point of bringing STR Vegito uh, onto this team was that I could transform to see where the super attacks would be. Um, but yeah, uh, we have not been able to transform. Were we at 20 key? Actually, we might have been at 20 key then. Maybe we were. Um, I'll check back because uh, I swear we were at like 19 key, but I might have just misread uh, the key wheel there. So again, looking pretty flawless. We'll move on to the next phase where I may transform with uh, Goku and Vegeta into Gogeta. Okay guys, so we have returned on turn 10. I would actually like to transform with my Goku and Vegeta right now, uh, but I think I'm gonna allow them to stack one more time. We're currently at seven super attack stacks. Let's just get to eight, make it a nice round and even number, and then we'll transform on our Goku and Vegeta's next appearance. Another thing to point out is that because now seven turns have elapsed, they have lost the additional 77% attack and defense, as well as the extra key per type key sphere. So bear that in mind. Uh, we'll give these physical orbs to the friend Goku and Vegeta. We'll give this to my Goku and Vegeta. And then we'll give LR Super Saiyan 4 the AGL orb on the left. Now, what's the LR Super Saiyan 4's defense? 136k. Okay. Uh, so that's interesting. We'll let this turn play out. And then the next time we see Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta we shall, of course, transform into uh, Gogeta. Okie dokie, so we have the big boy out finally, SS4 Gogeta. I think for now I will forego proccing his active skill because I think we can do that in the final phase. So Gogeta's starter turn defense is looking pretty good. It's 424k. Uh, mightily impressive. I'm going to put him in slot 1. And uh, another thing to point out is that because Weiris is here, again, we can proc the 30% attack and defensive support for Gogeta, which will activate once the turn is attacking. So we can't really see his starter turn defense as I'm too lazy to calculate it. Um, so we'll give the friend Goku and Vegeta this. Another thing to point out is that Goku and Vegeta has all... So not Goku and Vegeta. Gogeta has all links active. Uh, so yeah, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Saiyan Raw, GT, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power, and then Shocking Speed active. What that means for Gogeta is that he's getting a total of 4 key, 95% attack, and then 25% defense. So it's absolutely incredible. Um, as for Gogeta's defense post his 18 key, factoring that he only does the 18 key, and that he's had eight stacks prior, or eight stacks in the Goku and Vegeta form. That's 20% times eight, which is 160. We then add 160 and 100%. 100% is from the Massively Razor, so that's 2.6. We then go 167, which is the starter turn defense from Goku and Vegeta, so 167 multiplied by 3.6, which is 601k. So Gogeta should be sitting at 600k defense after he super attacks. Now, if he for some reason manages to proc the 50% chance to launch an additional super attack. 
it will be 167 times 4.1 and then his defense will jump to 684k uh, so please bear that in mind there are no super attacks so we won't really see how much damage he'd take but with 400k defense and his 50 percent chance to counter i don't think he's going to take any damage from this boss specifically 10 million oh my god that's 10 million type effective he also has what the is it a 30 percent chance to crit or 50 percent chance to crit it is a medium chance of forming a crit, so it's a 30% chance of performing a crit. Looks like we were unsuccessful with the launching an additional super attack part of his passive, but he's still done a frick ton of damage. Okay guys, so here is the turn of turns. Uh, it's crazy, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku did not super attack in the previous turn, so that's two turns in a row where he decided I'm just not going to super attack, which is, hey, good enough for me, I suppose. Uh, we are going to go ahead and pop B-Pan's active here. I do want to see how much damage Gogeta is able to output. I would not be surprised if this is like a 15 million attack stat. Uh, just, you know, without factoring in his medium chance to crit or his type effectiveness. So we'll grab these physical key spheres here. Again, defense will remain the same at 424k. I presume the Super Saiyan 4 Duo in slot 1 with 372k defense should tank double digits. I mean... Who am I kidding? Of course they're going to tank double digits. That's, that defense level is so uh, impeccable. Yeah, that's fine. So, at this point, I think the only thing that we're really missing from this showcase is the Big Bang active skill, which we may or may not see. Uh, hopefully, Gogeta doesn't go too crazy, uh, and then I think we'll be able to see it on this turn. Let's just see. So, I guess, I'm guessing 15 million. Let's see. Okay, I am stupid. Never mind. This is a start attempt. Uh, the active skill, but I was expecting the active skill buff to propel him to exponential heights. But 11 million is still pretty powerful. There's a medium chance to crit. Oh god, <laughs> 8 million second super. Jesus, Gogeta, chill. If he crits, it's over. Like I can't really do anything, and we won't be able to see the active skill. Okay, at least he was just type effective. There, he nullified one of uh, Super Saiyan 4 full power Goku's attacks. So. Uh, if we come back, we come back. I'm going to try and really stall the next turn's attacks, but we shall see. Okay, guys, so we have returned. This will definitely be the final turn of the video. Uh, I'm in a bit of a snafu here. I could put Gogeta... I, I say could put Gogeta in slot 2, but I could proc his active skill. We'd finish off full pass Super Saiyan for Goku with like a bajillion amount of damage. Uh, but there is a super attack in slot 1. And I do desperately want to see the counter because I feel like the counter you won't see that many times. Of course, there is the possibility that Gogeta does not super, uh, super attack counter, but uh, I'm going to risk it. Like an active skills can, I can literally just jump into a, a random event and show off the active skill at the end of the video. So let's just see how much damage he takes. Again, defensive level is really good. It's 424k. We also have SDR Super Vegeta on this rotation, which is interesting. Um, so I'm, I'm pleading that Gogeta counters, otherwise this is a waste, putting him in slot 1 and not proccing the active skill, but let's see. Gogeta! No! Gogeta, my boy, you were meant to counter! You were the chosen one! 176k is nothing. Okay, well, that'll be the end of the video. Uh, let me know what you guys think of Gogeta. He's still sitting at like a 9 million attack stat type effective. Okay, never mind, he crit, so that was essentially like an 18 million attack stat. Uh, he seems almost flawless to me. Maybe I'll come back to show off the actors, although I'm planning on taking him into the Legendary Vegeta event. I'm also planning on taking him into the God event, and maybe even the Ultimate Red Zone, although I think once Dokkan starts to funnel those stages towards us in terms of like uh, the second or third or fourth or fifth stage, uh, then we can go ahead and do so. Don't Pay don't pay too much attention to the time. Uh, I was uh, doing other things in between of recording. So as for this unit overall, again, I'm really impressed with them. Uh, there's not really anything that I can say is a weakness. Uh, I did say earlier in the video that I suppose their only weakness is that if they're not next to another GT unit, uh, they will struggle for key because they only have shocking speed or GT as their only two key links. Uh, and, you know, I think for the most part, prepare for battle would have been a better choice over Shocking Speed. But they have in Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I mean, as we've shown in this video, Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta can get it done in some stages. There's also LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, who's pretty good now. Uh, the SDR Super Saiyan 4 Goku is pretty good. AGL Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is pretty good. Um, I think LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is okay as well. Uh, not as good as the other five because of the extra stats that the other five are getting, but 
I still think he can function really, really well as a support unit. So as a support unit, as a unit who can provide uh, this LR with their key. Uh, and then, you know, that's not looking at the other GT units. I, I'm, I still haven't talked about the GT uh, support unit, the GT hero support unit, right? The Trunks and uh, Go, not Trunks and Gohan, the Goten and Gohan tech unit. And then, of course, the two Super Saiyan Dokkan Fest Rainbow Orb Changes. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think. Next video, I'll probably take him into the God event or something. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you next one. Peace.